been having a bit of a pants day because things just weren't going to plan. So you've had to adapt and overcome. I feel that mac and cheese is the right kind of comfort food. So mac and cheese with ham and sausage. Just starting to caramelise the chocolate. That looking lush, banging stuff, absolutely banging. Might need to wait for it to cool down from nuclear volcano, mm, possibly. But uh, yeah, it smells amazing. Wallpaper is all still up, which is fantastic. And I've started to clear the space so that I can start on the skirting boards. I really don't want to create too much dust out here. Although, having said that, I do still need to sand these down. That's a task for another day. Now, concentrate, Shelley, concentrate. Not gonna lie, the dust in here today is proving challenging. I sweep up, I do something else, there's more dust. And I'm not even doing things that I would consider dusty, it just seems to be in the air. So, I have just adjusted the flooring here to make sure that that sits in as well as I can get it. It's not perfect, but for me, on my own, it's as good as I can get it. I'm not necessarily happy, but it's as good as I can get it. So the next thing is to fit this piece here. So let's have a look at this piece. As you can see, the floor really isn't level. <laughs> the wood is, but the floor isn't. So I will need to do some massive wood filling there, but that's fine, we have the glue for that. But I'm going to take two pieces down and I'm going to mark them for the cuts for that corner and start there. And then I'll do the two pieces for there. We'll see how we get on. So an afternoon's work. I have put the skirting board in. Currently building something to go around the pipes under there, just so that it uh, gives a good finish. And then I'll do the other piece across there, down into the corner there. Decided what I'm gonna do where that bar is there because of the door and uh, it's need to slide is I'm gonna backfill the flooring uh, with wood glue to make that match in. And then I'm gonna paint the actual um, pine. So, the only bit that I actually need to do is a teensy bit down there, and then that's done as well. So I'm probably going to leave that till tomorrow because I've become a bit of a hermit of late and I haven't left this house in I don't know how long for social reasons. I need to break the habit and I'm going to head out this evening with Andy and uh, apparently he wants to go to karaoke. Not sure I have the guts to do that, but we will see. I'll see how it will go. Well, that says that it's nearly 40 degrees out here now. I can't believe that for a second. I mean, it is hot, don't get me wrong. It is really hot. But I think that's just because the thermometer is currently directly in the sun. Normally it's in the shade. It is a glorious day. The buddleia is out. Bumblebees are out. Luckily, I live in a stone cottage, so that keeps it nice and cool inside on hot days. But uh, on days like today, when I'm working, I don't really want to be hot and sticky in there. But now I get to shut up not just me, but the uh, <laughs> workshop, and uh, kind of freshen up, chill out, 
and enjoy some sunshine. Perfect. A couple more days like this and I'll be able to get the mower back out again because that will be dry enough to sort that little lot out. Makes a nice change to be able to get out of work clothes and go out for the evening. Uh, it's been a couple of months I think since I've been out of work gear. Oh. Yeah, looking forward to a change of scenery and uh, doing my mental health some good by getting some fresh air and uh, seeing some other human beings. There we go, bit of mascara, bit of lippy and I uh, already feel so much better. Sometimes you have to do these things for yourself. I forget that sometimes. So, uh, yeah. Time to go and uh, listen to some music, even if I don't start singing myself. It's karaoke tonight. No. I think I'll just watch everybody else. Great food, and who knows, maybe next time I'll actually sing. It's been a strange old day. Decided that I needed to get back out here and mow the lawn again. Need to really get the strimmer fixed so that I can get to the little bits here and there at the edges without taking out things I need. Uh, I've got this little patch here just left to do. It's lovely and hot out here. It's Aslan who has been staying well out of the way of mummy in the tractor. Or the ride on mower. Yeah, go and sit on the um, seats and you'll be safe there. So yes, I'll do this little bit, crack on. So all the skirting has been done in here now. I just have to paint that beam in there. I think I'm probably going to paint it white just so that it kind of matches in with the wallpaper really and sort of bridges the gap between what is the floor and the tiles in the toilet uh, ensuite bathroom um, and here. One of the things I have noticed is the glue. The glue from the paste that got on the wall there has left a nasty mark. Do need to give this a, a wash. Now this paint is supposed to be tough durable paint that you can scrub. So we will see if that's actually true and whether I can get the glue off of there without damaging the paint. If not, I'll have to wash it down and do another coat of paint on that bit. But yeah, the helmet is back on the door frame. I do need to still go and do some cutting, but I need to um, go up there and with the sponge as well because those are probably going to be slightly stuck to the paintwork so what I'll do is I'll cut away what I can and then once the cut's made I can then sponge away the rest of it. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with this little effort here. I basically created to hide some of the atrocity that was the wall and pipe work. This little box from skirting. Um, so very happy with that. And then that's all been glued in. The floors just need a good wash now, just to get up any residual glue. But yeah, that's all done all the way around. Next thing is to do my usual let's have a tidy up need to sand here, also need to sand just down some of the edges. I think this one's okay actually, that's all right. So it must be the inside that I hadn't done and oh, I wanted to do um, just the edges of this pine as well, just to smooth that off. So yeah, I think it just needs a bit of a, a bit of TLC just to do that on the oak and then once that's all done and clean 
I will finally, finally get round to sealing it. Oh, I'm not sure it's showing up, but it is particularly dusty in here now. Very cloudy. There's lots of dust. I have sanded these steps. I am talking to you from behind my t-shirt. Um, but as you can see, they are still pretty orange. So I'm going to leave those as they are. Then smooth now. I will be painting them um, with the uh, wood wax, which is for flooring as well. Um, so yeah, I have done the inside of there, I have done the plinth in there, and I've done the stairs. So that's all the woodwork, I think, all the sanding done. I'm going to do a quick walk around and double check. I did have a minor issue at the pelmet off of this one whilst I was sanding in there, jumped off and committed suicide. So I've got to fix that. Not impressed with that, but these things are sent to dry us. We just pick ourselves up and we carry on. Of course, then the next thing to play with, after I've done any touch up of the paintwork in here and the oiling and clear varnishing, it's the doors. Now I'm looking forward to that. I have a door here and have a door downstairs for the fern suite, um, which will need to be um, cut to size. So I'll be using a uh, circular saw. So uh, we'll be taking off a chunk of that. And then I've got a planer, an electric planer to uh, just tidy that up. So hopefully in the next couple of days, this will all start coming together for the sort of final clean view before I put furniture in here and start taking photos and a marketing place. Exciting times. And it reminds me, curtain poles. Curtain poles have been taken down to the workshop for sanding and I will do that tomorrow as well. Hopefully Andy is here tomorrow. He said that he is, but uh, I know it depends on his health, bless him. And uh, he is going to be finishing the plastering in here. So we have plastering across the back wall here. I know he's particularly nervous about behind the radiator, but I've said we'll just get it as smooth as we can. You know, I mean, I can get my hand fairly way through there. So I'm sure I can help smooth, do a smoothing coat. Top coats on these two walls. Plaster this and do those two. So yeah, it'll be a full day's work though. So yeah, it's hard going, this plastering. Being the least green thing that person in my family, I'm quite happy with the way things are going. Now, I know these blessed little oak trees are not quite happy, so, but I'm hopeful that they will be. Um, they just need planting out, planting out. But there are things growing which I believe are the correct things and not just um, as we have here stinging nettles definitely different types of leaves coming through there so fingers crossed no idea what they are but we shall see herbs these ones so this one and these two are herbs sure these ones I think might be tomato or pepper plants I put seeds in for this oak here very very happy oak I'm very very happy as you can see the one two three four five hazels deliriously happy and there is another oak over there doing okay as well so I'm very pleased with that uh, it is really hot here at the moment it is about 25 to 30 today and look my strawberry plants I've got baby strawberries on them long way off from picking yet but I'm very impressed that my first crop of something is going to be strawberries. 
takes me back to being a kid and uh, going strawberry picking it. Pick your own. Great times, great memories. And yeah, I'm probably late in planting the other things. Well, I say probably, I am late. But the house has to take priority. Foodstuffs. We will get there. We will. Now that I have shorn the ginormous the high grass out here. I mean, I know, yes, there is still quite a bit lurking and it needs trimming around here. But what I'm really pleased with is that uh, the bulbs that Chris and I planted in November have gone bananas. They seem to be really loving it, the old tulips, the frazzly edged ones in particular. Beautiful peachy and pink coloured one there. Got me raspberry ripple ones. And they're almost black. It's so dark. One there and another one coming through. And then something else coming up here. It might be one of those ones with a big pom pom head on it. I'm not sure, but we will see, I'm sure. It's fine, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. Yeah. Good times. As you can see, happy cat. Thank you, bird pie. Just chilling, watching the world go by. <laughs> oh yes, and I nearly forgot. How I could nearly forget? I have no idea. But I nearly forgot that I have also been reading up on the tax, self-assessment tax return that I've got to do. Apparently everybody here has to do them. I think I said that the other day. Um, and I had no clue what to do, but I so I messaged them and they have responded to me and given me a couple of documents to read. And uh, yeah, working my way through that, just hope I can get it all done by the deadline. Don't expect that I've got any tax to pay because for the year of 2022, I certainly wasn't earning any money whatsoever, just spending my savings um, on renovation stuff. But you have to fill in all the paperwork. So there you have it. Let you know how that goes. Well, I think that's enough garlic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I mean, you can never have too much, right? <laughs> Today I'm going to be making a chilli and a Thai green curry for uh, the week ahead. So I'll be a Thai green curry with me slightly chunkier onion. And that'll be my chilli, but uh, yeah, need to get everything together. Garlic's going in next. There we go. Thai green curry paste, coconut oil, coconut milk, mango beans. And then we've got some uh, tomatoes there. But yeah, coming along nicely. I've put some nice Osmo. Here, one, two, here, and I'm just brushing that gently onto there, taking off any excess glue in the process. You can see the difference already between the two. But the good thing is. It colour matches where the glue's gone because it's basically feeding the wood. Here we are. So I have sanded those back yesterday and I have now varnished them. That's They've had their second coat of varnish. In there I have oiled all bars. You can see the colour difference at the top there. Because Andy's currently stolen me little ladder, so I need the little ladder to get up there on all of the uh, heights. So you can see, very different colour. Looks lovely and nourished. So that's good. So these now need to dry. Then I'm going to cut this 
just to do the top bar there and the rest will be left as is and I am now finally going to go up cut off the excess well an escapey Andy <laughs> I'm going to cut off the excess bits of wallpaper and I'm finally finally going to oil those beams that I've been on about for months Let's go see what Andy's been doing. So, he's been in here, bless him, sorting out his least favourite wall. As he said to me, in future, don't put the radiator on before the wall's plastered. Well, I didn't really have much choice in that, but it is duly noted for next time. As you see, just finishing off in here. So, time for me to crack a lack on with these beams and finishing touches in here. These beams have now been treated with the wax, oil wax. It goes on as an oil and finishes a bit like a wax. So, those ones have been done. These ones above me, you see, this one's not been done yet. And this is partially done, so let me just take a step over here and you can really see the difference. Just brings out the natural colour, it's not um, coloured at all, it's just clear. And I'm hopeful that when it dries, it is actually drying back to sort of a more sort of honey coloured wood as opposed to, um, with browns in it, as opposed to any kind of orange, which was my fear for these. So, uh, sadly though, my little tin of Osmo here, empty. I am um, going to need to buy some more of that because I'm not finished yet. And I've only got a little bit left in there, so uh, I reckon I might be able to finish that beam and and that side of that beam. And uh, then I'll probably be done for today. Then I've still got, what, three and a half beams to do. Meanwhile, through the square window, which we'll see what Andy's been up to. So this back wall here in the toilet has been smoothed off, admittedly around the architrave will need some finessing and that is pretty much done, although we're going to uh, need some more work behind the old radiator and there isn't. Andy. Hello, Hello. Andy. <laughs> How are you? Did, did you have a little nap? Yes. Very <laughs> much needed after doing it a bit. Yeah. Just trying to finish it off. <laughs> is, are you finishing it off or is it finishing you off? Yeah, a bit of both. <laughs> right. Time for me to move the ladder and finish, hopefully, these beams. So I finished the beams for tonight, as much as I can do, running out, run, having run out of the wax. So I've put on this door, floor, nose, stair, bevel, thing image you get. As you see, my brain's now mush. Um, but that just tidies that up because the way that had been created by somebody, previous owners, I think, or it possibly even previous to the last owner uh, it didn't sit so normally you would have the top would come over the riser but for this one it was multiple pieces had been cut and the riser was exposed rather than having that come to the edge so that just tidies that up so I'm quite happy with that I know it's all different colors but then that piece of wood there is a different color to that one that's different to that, so I'm just happy that it's all nice and tidy. So that's that done. We'll have to come back and finish off those 
uprights. Um, that's all glued up. I have fixed the pelmet, glued it, just uh, both ends with some wood glue. I'm just allowing that to cure. So I'll just leave that there for now. And when I get round to coming back and doing these, I'll rehang the pelmet and I'll do some touch up paintwork in here. And then this room will be done. So in the meantime, I'm now back on cooking duties. So I have a Thai green curry with bean sprouts and broccoli this time with onions and garlic and turkey. And I have a um, chilli, so that's all in there. What you can see there's some chocolate, dark chocolate in there waiting to be turned on to melt. And this is ready for the cashews. I now need to do the rice, coconut rice, so Andy and I can have a nice Thai green curry tonight. Two hot bowls of Thai green curry with coconut rice and cashew nuts. For the workers, Aslan is not a worker. He's going to be most disappointed. So this is the day after I waxed those first few beans. As you can see where I stopped waxing. I should take my finger out of there so it stops pulling the focus. But uh, so it leaves them slightly darker but not orange at all, very natural looking. And I really quite like the look. And now they're all oil waxed with Osmo. They're now protected. They've been woodworm treated and waxed. So that's all that done. The wallpapering has all been finished. So in here, all the skirting boards also been finished. I need to do the bench over there, for which I'm about to water the wood. And uh, I need to do the door. So I'm now going to take the measurements for the doors and then go and cut those. And then I'm ordering some more flooring so that I can finish this off. Also just need to put a little bit of that screed down to dry over there just because there's a bit of a lip there and I'm not, not really happy with that being there. Uh, and then I can paint this as well. So I'm going to hang that back up now, that should be alright to move. And measure that door and make sure that that door fits. I have to start moving furniture in. Bizarre, but it is the beginning of May. I'm hugely over when I wanted to be ready, but you know, it is what it is. No point in getting stressed over it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Cottage Tranquility. In exciting news, since this footage was actually filmed, um, the Oak Suite is now available to rent on Airbnb. And the link to um, our site can be found in the about section on this channel so just head over there and take a look obviously if you don't already please do subscribe to the channel share our page our channel um, so that others may find us and hopefully enjoy watching our vlogs thank you so much to everybody who already subscribes comments and likes really appreciate all your support i look forward to reading your comments and seeing you again for the next episode of Life at Cottage Tranquility.